All right, well. It's time to mosey on over to the uh, God's Militia area. In Hollywood. And yes, loading, loading, loading. Alright, so I'll note at this point, I don't think there's much left in the game. I think there's a little bit after, um, basically investigating uh, the um, God, God's Pollution and eventually after that the Seals Beach area um, in terms of gameplay, but there's not a whole lot. And more loading, because why not? So, I'll be able to go up here for the next little bit. I don't think there's too much to explore up here, there's just a little bit of map to explore. But I believe there is a cache somewhere around to find. So I'll try to find that first before going to the Gosmos area, or Hollywood. Yeah, I can cross through the radiation here now, which is nice. There's a mysterious shrine. That's always fun to find. A lot of these shrines, by the way, I'm not sure if you can pick them up by, you know, having people actually find them for you, or if you have to find them yourself. There's a skill point. And what's over here? Hmm. Well, there's an MP5 and some ammo and such. I could try breaking this down for laser sight, flash suppressor, other stuff. I think we'll keep it. I guess this was a strip club. Stripper additions, apparently. Well, that's fun. Always fun to find a shrine randomly. I assume the California shrines are more of a, you know, a, a nod to something else. Oops, I don't go that way. Brother Malediction, I hear you ask. Brother Malediction, who was this Luke Samson? Who was the man who we now call the Red Messiah? Who was our savior? Well, brothers and sisters, I'll tell you. 75 years ago, Luke Sampson was just another man. Lived right here in Hollywood. And 
To be honest, he wasn't even a particularly good man. He was a scavenger, like so many are in these hard times, and known to drink and cuss and occasionally settle arguments with the help of a sledgehammer. But one night, one night, when he was digging in the rubble of a TV station down in Gower Gulch, he stumbled upon a video cassette that was to change his life, thinking, hoping that it was some kind of pre-apocalypse pornography. He found himself a working VCR and popped it in. It wasn't pornography, brothers and sisters. Oh, no. It was salvation. What Luke Sampson had found was the last surviving record of the wisest prophet of the pre-apocalyptic age, the great James King. Can I get a hallelujah, brothers and sisters? All right, well, here's the cash I was looking for. So there's an AK-97. Try stripping that for parts. Bring some less chance of getting parts in that one, so don't worry about it. Hollywood! Sure, why not? We'll throw in some uh, random fights here. At this point, I could probably run from all these fights because they don't really help me too much with skills, but whatever. I'll do these fights a little bit. Uh, actually, do I want to? These guys are in a pretty good defense position, actually. Yeah, let's just not do this one. If they're in a if they're in a less defensive position, I'd do it, but Oh, 
Maybe we'll do these ones. Ah, right, this one I can do. Look at that. They're all... They're all below me pretty much. Alright, first things first, we're gonna take off our armor again, because I've since learned that you don't want to wear armor around these guys. When everyone sports energy weapons, you don't want to use uh, stuff against them for it. Let's have you go here. I'm passing up slowly in case they see me from down there, perhaps. And they did, somewhere, somehow. Oh, he saw me. Ow. The good thing is that they have to take a while to get up to me, too. Some of these guys. Alright, so the guys who can hit me are like the lobbers and the pulse gunners at this point. The other guys still have to take a while to run up to me. So, you get to go after him. How do you get over here? Okay, you get to move up here. <coughs> Interesting, I guess they're all gonna try and run up here at some point. Um Go for him. A little bit of damage. Nice hit. You get to move closer, I guess. Double tap. The lobber's out of the way. <coughs> up here. And up here. So I can shoot these guys down there. So shoot him. That guy's firing a whole damn lot. Here comes his help. Let's use the plasma hammer on this guy. How about you? Let's shoot him. Then 
move. I've got too close to this guy's gonna be able to attack me, but whatever. Let's just uh do we can't shoot this guy apart. Nice. How would you get up here? And shoot down. <clears throat> now he's able to fire at me because of the simple fact that, you know, I serve out of cover, so. We have an issue with that, whatever. Oh! Pain, agony. Take a burn. Uh, shoot him. Wow, these guys are definitely getting a lot of uh, turns out against me. Probably burn to death before we got our chance to do anything. Boom! Down he went. Okay, you get to move uh, somewhere. I'll over here. There you go, he burned. He burned. I don't want to move too close to this guy, but I think that's, you know, that's not that's okay. Bang. Oh, you take some shots. I was gonna run over to Takuki here. Fire! Fire again! Damn, you're too far away to get any more shots, I think. Oh, you can get another shot. Finish it. That went out pretty well. Always a nice little fight to go against these guys. Alright, good to go. Or if there will be any more radio encounters with the uh, God's Militia radio caster.
Alright, so there's Hollywood. Hollywood. told me about towns like this. <laughs> There'll be some fighting here for sure. Hey, hey, welcome to Hollywood, fun seekers. You look like you need some condoms. You wouldn't think a beard and a tutu would go together, but somehow Rat Boy makes it work. No, no, not, not condoms. Pet rock den. Dolls, directions, snow globes. How about this one? It's got Manny's Chinese casino being showering in teeny gold coins. What about souvenir condom for the Heidi Holloway hideaway? One snow globe coming up. All right, so you're selling junk, condoms. So I jumped in. And we'll see the guns to him too. There we go, make a little bit of money. I 
Ah, the condom. Wise choice. Here you go. Alright, so this guy's really hoping to sell me stuff. Let's buy some of the condom, or, you know, not some of one condom. Alright, well, let's, uh, ask for directions. Now, where did you want to go? Mansi's Casino, Rabu Gun Shop, Heidi's Highway, High, high, high Ground Dispensary, Swag's Drugstore, Brashes, the Brown Ground Hotel, California. The finest casino on the west coast, no better place on earth to lose your money. Go to the end of the sunset and hang on right. It'll be the end of the street. The best brothel in town, the cleanest girls and boys with the greatest variety. I give it five stars. Head west until you can, can't go any further, then turn right. It's between Sunset and Hollywood. Rambo's gun shop is up in Hollywood on the south side of the street. If you need firepower, that's the crazy French bastard has it in spades. That's our local pot dispensary and clinic. If you need to fix your head, George has what you're looking for. If you need to fix your body, Marfa is an ace with the needle and bread. Head up to Hollywood Boulevard and close to Rambo's gun shop. Food, drink, sundries, plus the best boy and girl washing in Hollywood, outside of Heidi's of course. But at Swag it's free. See all the talent just hang out at Swag, so all the pretty young things that come to the town go there hoping to get discovered. Just walk down to the end of the sunset, it's right there. If you're looking for a cheap, safe place to crash, Rashi's got a little camp for runaways in a cemetery. That's where I started when I moved here, and look where I am today. I'm not sure that's the improvement, but okay. Used to make the best chili in town, better in swags, that's for damn sure. But then the ACC shut down for health violations. Just pissed old Ma Brown wouldn't pay her dues. That's it, they're right behind me, with a close sign on it. The Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, they're supposed to keep Hollywood safe and bring the tourists in. Not doing much of either, if you ask me. I'm a soul of pet rockin' days. Unless you want to ruin your life, you don't want to go there, friends. It ain't a hotel. It's a salt house. Nothing but dealers and salt, salt zombies. If that's your scene, it's up at Hollywood Boulevard, just uh, inside the East Gate. You take that shit long enough, it'll turn you into a zombie. Just shuffle around all day, staring at nothing. Only time those wastes make a move is to jump some poor bastards so they can't get enough money for the next fix. Rap Boy would keep out of our way if Rap Boy was you. What do you want? I don't know what's in this stuff, but it's, if you snort enough of it up your nose, you turn into a zombie and you don't come back. Terrible stuff. Terrible. Alright, well. Makeshift easel crafted from parking enforcement signs rests a uh, half-finished landscape painting showing the Hollywood skyline set against Hollywood Hills. A brilliant orange sky um, illuminated green, deep green. Ah, oh, okay.
Okay, well. So, guys, push it. Killing prostitutes, who knew? Got a lot of friends in there. Well, that sucks. That's great, Team Echo. Congratulations, Echo One. Alright, well, let's level these guys up a little bit, I guess. I have no idea what I'm gonna level you with. You're just gonna keep getting skills in this stuff. Leadership, perhaps. Alright, shoulder low would give me more comet speed, that might be worth it. Do I really want to go through all the gravestones for you guys? I'm sure there's an easter egg in some of these things, but uh... Yeah, like overpowered elves. A statue. No thanks, piggies. We don't want any. The tank commands of James King? Oh, I gotta pick that up. This is the People's Republic of Hollywood. No pigs allowed. Are you kidding me? The weapons, the badges. Never trust a uniform. That's my motto. You're nothing but another band of fascists. No different than the HCC or God's Militia. Why don't you go beat up some junkies? The only good thing the HCC does is keep those wackos out of Hollywood. This town may be corrupt, but the Militia are religious fascists. They worship some sledgehammer messiah who preached that the only good sinner is a dead sinner. I'll be honest, they scare the shit out of me. Hookers, casinos, and crooks? Oh, I'm sorry, I always get that wrong. Hollywood Chamber of Commerce? They want us to think that they work for the welfare of all Hollywood, but they only protect their own business. They put all their money into keeping the tourists happy and fighting those God's Militia freaks. There isn't one penny left over to help the people who actually live here. We can all go die as far as they're concerned. Spoken like a true pig. This is the only true safe place in Hollywood. A shelter for the homeless and the runaways that all the rest of those slimy fucks prey on. We keep them safe from people like you. Now get out of here. I got nothing against taking drugs. If you can handle your shit, do whatever you want. But salt, it's not a drug, it's a plague. You take enough, you don't come back. No amount of rehab will clean you out. You just shuffle around like a zombie for the rest of your life. It's killing my kids. All right, well. Name's Chai Maloney. You need a grave dug? Oh, hey, you can help me with some beasties. Don't know what they are exactly, but they're making a mess of the place, tearing up the graves, eating the bodies is terrible. I can barely hold them back. I ain't even, even, um, even ate till a few days, so I'm hungry. I gotta eat a painting of a sandwich. Well, why not? You look like you're hand for a weapon. You clear out this little infestation of mine. Don't go messing with untouched graves. You dig up any customers and I'll give you a couple of shots of double um old buck. Come back to me when this room cleared out and all the graves are mustard, I might throw in stuffing extra. That's my job, digging graves, making coffins too, if you need one. Just tell me how big you want and pay the price and I'll dig you something nice. <clears throat> Howdy, John. How's business? <laughs> Gets me every time. I could, you know. Whoa. Toad, bless beast. Let's part this guy.
Maybe that dog will burn to death. That'd be fun. Ouch. There we go, he did burn it off, but not before he took a bite. Here comes the wolves. How would you go after his toad? Uh, shoot this wolf. Bang, bang. Maybe he'll burn to death. Oh, wait, he's the one burning, so this one's not gonna burn to death. Oh, maybe you can shoot him to death. Uh. All right, here's what I'm feeling with him. Throw a grenade right there. <laughs> click. And click. <laughs> oh, I took my weapon. <laughs> Cool, I got ambush off. Oh crap, he's booting out. Alright, uh, Xenon can to you. Xenon can to you. One hit to the face. One hit to the face. Shoot. And then rip this guy apart. Down again. Alright, well that hurt a little bit. Just a little bit. Give the doctor back his weapon. I was supposed to pee had his weapon taken. Do I really want to maybe keep this, this weapon here, I wonder? Could strip it for stuff. Eh, didn't get anything. Yeah, there's the ten commands. I'll probably go through it at some point. Let's use a big one on you. for something, our stuff. You know, I'm tempted to give her Tinkerer, because that might be useful. Extra armor. Give her Tormentor might be a good idea, too. Let's give her this for now. 
For general skills, I'm thinking about possibly giving her something. All those, those skill points stack up for now, I guess. Hey, safe. Well, let's go talk to him then. I can't hear any more beasties out there. Well done, strangers. Let me give you a ward. Now, where did I put it? Do you find it lonely, Ward? Copy, Ranger. Echo 1. Congratulations, man. Cool. So you load up. Let's get you some more handguns for now. No, I think I want to give this guy healthy so he has a little more health. That perk doesn't seem like much, but in, in you know, in the long run, it does help a lot. Let's go after safe, perhaps. And it's safe cracking. There's a tactical scope for me. I want it. Maximum range, optimal range, that's pretty good. Alright, well. This seems like a good stopping point for the first episode into Hollywood. A little bit of action, a little bit of, you know, homekeeping. We'll see what the future holds for Hollywood and go from there. Take care now.